Hey guys, Bezerza here, and I'm going to be doing a build guide for you today. Um, a stream buddy of mine, mine named uh, Lewis9955.4, I believe it is, um, he asked me to do, to do a little build guide for my build that you saw in the last Let's Play. Um, it's the, that you played at Nanodrone. Thing called the French Tickler, so we're gonna be building that today. Um, it's a pretty easy design, nothing complicated or anything, and flying it isn't complicated or anything either. Um, let's go ahead and let's start from the arrow here. Let's go ahead and build up. <coughs> Give us a little base to work from. Okay, so for this build. It's going to be 1,503 p-flops. So if you can't do that, then you can't build this build exactly. <clears throat> but there's also a list of parts. I'll go ahead and read that off for you too. I'll type it in the description below also. But you are going to need 51 TX1 prisms, 20 TX1 tetras, 5 uh, inners. You're going to need 2 T10 helium. Then you're going to need a tier 4 rudder. You're going to need 7 tier 10 thrusters, 2 tier 8s, 2 tier 6s, and 2 tier 4s. Then you're going to need the 6 nano disruptors, tier 10. Um, then you're going to need 2 of each of these plates. And they're the mega plate Bs. Um, I don't have any of this stuff on here. None of the hard or none of the special stuff um, on mine, though. I do have two vapor trails and Rubicon Hollow flag, because you know why not? Just a second. Sorry about that. My dog started uh, barking like crazy. So now let's get to the build. Um, so. We'll say the pilot seat's gonna be right there. So we'll take some prisms and we're going to go down like this. Now we'll take this one here, place it with an inner, and yes, that is correct. And we'll do that. Put tetros on either side there and there. And that is pretty much the front. <laughs> There's a little more that goes onto that. We're just going to do this main center line here first. So you want to bring it back like that. Just do a little up and down pattern. And we're going to go back to there. If I end up pausing a little bit while I'm looking at how to do things, it's because I'm actually looking at a, a picture of the build that I have on my uh, laptop <laughs> so I can actually do this way properly. So, you got the two touchers there, got the chain of uh, prisms, and we got the prism right there. And then we'll do two inners. Yes. Grab another prism, and we'll go back up. And that's there. So that is the main frame for it. Nothing too fancy. Um, right on the back here, we're going to do the tier 4 rudder. And I have that point down. So it'll just be like that. And then on either side here, have prisms coming out. And let me go to a better picture. Oh, I can hardly even see what I'm trying to do in my own build. <laughs> this isn't very good at all. Okay. So, right here, 
I believe it's right here. Yes. So right here, we'll do that. Pull those two in there. And we'll get the two helium. Pop those right in there. And then we're going to grab inners. Put those right there. Then I believe we do these like that. I don't have that good of an angle on that spot for a picture. I didn't think about it when I was taking them. So, yeah, that looks to be correct. Okay. And for this spot here, it's actually prisms instead of tetris. And then tetris like that. So that is the whole center frame. So like I said, nothing too difficult. Um, just I kind of derped a little bit with figuring out where things went. So now there's a single block space between each mounting point on the plate. So, actually we don't need those. So for this next one, we are going to pop it like that on either side. Oh. Get rid of those. And... Actually need one of these again. Oh, no, not down there. You just put it up like that. And this actually goes like that because the thruster needs to go on top of there. But that is to arm for that part. Like I said, simple. Okay. Now for the one over here, we're going to have a mounting point there. So let's bring the space over. I'm going to plop one right there. Oh, need to bring another one over. Put that one down. And put that one down. Yep. Looks about right. We're gonna grab some tetras. One tetra will go right there, one on the end there, and one right in there. So this is what it'll look like so far. Got the little weird C thing. Got the little arm there. We got this little configuration. Um, that's actually as high as it's getting. And then on the front bit, we are actually going to, yep, yeah, it's right across from this tetra, or not tetra, this prism. So we'll bring it out, but it actually looks like it's, you need to have the block there. So get rid of these, and then we'll put it like so, and we'll bring that there. Pop that one down there. Pop that one down there. And grab some tetras. Plop it there. And pop it there. So that should be the correct layout. Um, now what we're going to do is add the thrusters. So, oh, not hard work movement. So tier 10s, we want them either side there, either side there, and one back there, and then oh, we want them on these, uh, is it on these? Oh, missed a block. So you want those there. Oh, no, actually, sorry, I placed these wrong because I derped. These need to be pointed out because they're the gun mounts, like on these. Because those little touchers are the gun mounts. Okay, so those are the tier 10 thrusters. And then the tier 8s are here. Yes, they are there. The two tier 6s we'll go right there then the tier fours we will have two there and two there let's go ahead and take those off 
add the pilot seat and then those will be connected once we add in these guys and I actually have it so it kinda cuddles around the pilot seat right in there so you want the little tabs right behind the pilot seat and remember they place from the center center post um, on the side with the tab so I can help you figure out how to how to place it okay so there's the E plates then just plop on the guns and your build is ready to go um, now since I like being a little fancy pants plop one of those there and plop a couple of these here and now I'm good to go so that is how you build the French Tickler now I'm sure you would like to see how it plays so let's take it out for a battle mm. if you hear any banging around I'm moving the laptop now so I can actually use my keyboard decently Oh, we're playing against Catastronic. He's an, he's an IR guy. We're probably going to get beat up real bad. <laughs> Mr. Beardy is playing a land ship. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, that's you're, you're using glass. That's, that's nice. I'm glad you're doing that. Mr. Beardy, that isn't a land ship at all. So as you can see, it flips around a good bit. The the actual turning isn't too fantastic because it's only two tier ten thrusters and the two tier four, but it's a pretty nippy little quick quick guy. The down thrusters aren't too strong, but he he does cool flips. He can't really take too much damage. But um, the E plates make up for that a decent bit. But the main thing is actually, well, kind of like bounce off of him, um, is making sure you pilot this thing nimbly. Um, oh, they're already out of base. Like, if you want a comparison of how this flies to anything, it's almost like a bad uber warp if you've ever played one of those because it relies a lot on just kind of picking up the nose a bit doing little flips kind of kind of place where you want to go um, uh, let's see <sighs> Well, nobody's really doing much of anything over here. Let me duck down some. Let me do a little flyby heal. Uh, our team's getting really mad about that Mega. He is pretty crap, so... Hey, this guy's on the forums, too. You should make fun of him for his crap Mega. You have crap Mega. I think I'll make fun of him on the forums at some point. I wish I could remember where he actually posted. But anyway. Let's see. You just do a bunch of little dodgy donuts and stuff. Stay out of line of fire while uh, getting some sweet heals. Oh no, Mr. Beardy! I was coming to save you! Jack Queen Phoenix, I got you. Ah, no, I need uh, my heels. Uh. Oh, there, there actually is still an opponent. 
Oh, it's the one that's talking. I thought he was on our team. Where is he? Uh, okay. Well, anyway, you can see how this thing pilots. Um, didn't really get in too much of a firefight, so you didn't, didn't really get to see how exactly that was gonna go. Um, I gotta kill! Um, but yeah. I like it. It could be better for what it is. I mean, I'm sure you've seen some gameplay or at least been in a match with some like the Invictus Rex guys or anybody that actually made a better version of this. And it does a lot better, usually. But this is built for how I like to pilot it, and I enjoy it. So, I guess take it for what it is. Don't expect it to be the most OP thing ever. Um, and I hope you enjoy flying it. So I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.